Cleanup crews are working overtime in the Queen City, trying to restore power to the handful of people still in the dark. Earlier this evening, there were around 4,000 people without power. Queen City news reporter Sydney Heiberger caught up with crews in Druid Hills today, where neighbors have been in the dark since 9 last night. In the Druid Hills neighborhood, a large tree came down, blocking the road and taking down a power pole. Crews have been out here all throughout the day on Saturday, working to put up a new pole and restore that power, which has been out since 930 PM on Friday night. They're estimating restoring that power by 10 o'clock Saturday night. Neighbors around the Charlotte area emerged from their homes to assess the damage Ian left behind. Sound like a thunderous boom or uh, explosion. I came outside and I was, I was looking around and I seen like a look like a transformer blew up because I could see the blue spark. I said, "What's that?" At its peak, Duke Energy says 850,000 people were without power across the Carolinas during the storm. They were able to restore power to 500,000 of those people by Saturday morning. We've said since the beginning this would be a multi day outage. Um, it still looks like it's going to be that way. Unfortunately, those in the Druid Hills neighborhood were some of the unlucky ones. About nine o'clock last night, the power went out and it was just dark. What have you been doing all day? Sleeping because ain't nothing else to do. Some neighbors are particularly frustrated because they say they've been asking the city for years to remove the tree that took out their power. My neighbor has been dialoguing with the city for about two years because the tree was rotting. The civil lining is that no one had got killed. If that was someone would have been driving up under that tree, they would be dead right now. Thankfully, we were able to speak with some of the homeowners where that tree came down and it does not seem like anyone was hurt. Duke Energy told us they had 10,000 responders working to restore power. In Druid Hills, I'm Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.